The ignition is very, oh, are you recording now? Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. Okay, so the ignition is a little bit sensitive on this thing. It's very easy. So you don't have to like crank it like a lot of, you know, brand new steering column. So it's not gonna have like a hundred pounds of force to do it. Um, it, turn the signals on, all right. So it should be very simple. Oh, there it is. Yeah. oh I turned it back too far. That's the only reason it shut off. So, oh. of course, you got to give it a bad show. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Wow. So that's on. Got your camera for the rear view. Um, that's nice. AC is not going to work yet because we haven't charged it, but it is vacuumed down, so we'll be able to charge that pretty easy. Horn will work once it's uh, in, so cool. yeah, that part should be good. Um, headlights, uh, we don't have the wiper blades on yet. They're right. going on soon, so uh, Gosh, tilt great. steering, nice. nice. Very nice. Okay. And easy. Okay, so how did you know which gear you're in? Like, well, it says drive. drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see it now. Yeah. yeah, so I think it's actually pretty well set. Okay. Um, Josh is really good about that kind of stuff. So the brakes are pretty sensitive. It's, they, they work. They work great. So, yeah. They'll probably take a little getting used to, but that's just the sensitized brakes. So, so the guy showed up to do the windshield. Uh huh. One. Just this coach? Wow. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Finally, you threatened him enough. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> did you get my message? No. What did you say? The fridge. The what about the fridge? Not. It's not. Oh, just yeah. I want. I'm taking. Yeah, your refrigerator is not bolted in, so. Oh, okay. It, if it goes flying out. <laughs> okay. I'm in front. Of yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll try not to. We we have to figure out a way to secure it. It's a little different bracketing probably than than normal. So we gotta make sure it's sitting where you guys want it and everything. So yeah, so gets up and go pretty decent. Yeah, and then I'll try not to throw us through the. It's it's pretty touchy, but I, I barely barely went on the brakes. So now I think we are very low on fuel. So I'm gonna go straight to the closest gas station. That way we're not. Um, you know, yeah, risking, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, wow, right's nice. yeah, so you can see the steering wheel is not quite centered yet. We're going to work on that. That's the reason why I didn't put the horn button in yet. Um, so once we get back, we'll take that. We just had to park it straight and then we can, uh, pop it off and stick it on. Um, I don't know if this needs an alignment or anything. Um, it, I haven't driven enough yet to know that this is actually, uh, this might be my first test drive in it, All so right. don't remember if we did any test drive. I think we drove it a little bit. I think we Jim might have. Yeah, Jim. Uh, yeah. So. So then. Right. So you'll yep. take it out and do some more test drives. To see yes, we want to. We want to put a couple hundred miles on it. Probably run it through some heat cycles and everything, just to make sure that it's gonna operate the same. Probably even at like uh, higher speeds and stuff like prolonged trips because you don't really get the same uh you know i mean i don't know what kind of trips you guys are going to be going on but you know we don't want it overheating on like a oh right perfect yeah well at least the the weather should be colder up there anyways so that should be perfect if the gas goes up any higher we might end up having to live there until it comes back down that that might be valid yeah so but yeah it's it's nice and you know not like one finger driving. Wow. I mean, it's it's not going to be super hard. It's just not not Is straight. It's up on the way here from Ocala when we first brought it to you. Yeah. I mean, he was really having to fight it. Uh, yeah. I mean, we've we've tightened things up quite a bit since then. So, I mean, it, I don't think it's going to be quite as difficult to drive. So. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it feels good now. It's it, nice and responsive. It's riding so. Nice. Very 
gas station's right up here. I'm gonna pull in where that car's coming out, and then we'll. Uh... Well, it's actually reasonable. 347. Yeah. Can't complain about that. Yep. It actually drives really nice. There, it's coming down with the, the idle. As the as it runs more, it's going to tune itself a little bit more to different situations. So the computer will start learning a lot more of like, okay, when you shift it out of gear, it doesn't have to rev up real high. It can just okay, it's going to rev up a little and then it'll come back down. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. I'm going to shut it off so we can fuel up, okay. cycle it just to the ignition hot first. And you'll hear that, uh, and then it'll stop. It does a little burst of fuel at the end of that. So if you wait that couple of seconds for that to do the burst, it uh, is a lot more likely to fire up like right away. If you don't do it before that, then it doesn't have that burst of fuel yet. So it's kind of a, so fire right up. So, and if it ever has a trouble, it doesn't start in that first couple seconds, uh, a trick that you can do is you'll turn the key on, let it cycle through that, turn it off, turn it back on, let it cycle through that, and then crank it up. And that kind of gives it that little extra burst of fuel, so it's almost like a choke or something. So, like, like the extra pump. No, no. Unless you want to see the ether bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few. <laughs> I'm very punny. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. I like that. And yeah, he he got it just nailed on the. Uh, so like it's in drive right now and it's right on drive. So, all right, so I'm ease out of here. Oh, I'm gonna let this guy go around me because he's flying. So and also I'm going to adjust the mirror slightly and there we go and you'll probably have to adjust a little bit because you're obviously like a foot taller than me so you know but that's nice you can see right behind you that's beneficial for me because I'm not used to not having a mirror yeah do you guys want the lens, the little protective cover off of it now? Oh, sure. Yeah, I yeah, think there's. Clear. I think I think Josh just didn't want to be the one to take yeah, it off. Yeah. So, cool. yeah, this one I think has one on it too. So, uh, I haven't done the radio yet. We'll we'll leave that off for right now. I'm sure it works. Actually, I think Josh showed it to me. Um, let me see if that'll tilt a little. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Yeah. I, I agree. I actually may need you to send me that link so that we get that same one because the one I got for my car, well, for the, the shop vehicle, um, it has three cameras. Um, it's got one that looks at you. It's got one at the back and one out the front. This one, I think, has one out the front. And I believe this one will also record accidents uh, like mine did. But mine, it unless I find the right setting, I couldn't get it to stay on. It would just shut off after a while. I could like touch it and turn it on, but yeah. I'm gonna turn up here. I'll do a big loop. Huh. I was not expecting to make this. But yeah. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Get the armrest if you need it. So, put it back for now. But, yeah, nice airflow coming through the vent. Yes, it does. So, so. Yeah, it's actually really clear. Like you can see really well back there. So, mirrors look good.
turn here and then uh, it's not showing anything yet so we'll probably have to smack the tank to get it to go like the uh, cruise control is working. You guys want to go a little bit further? I can go around in a loop. Sure. Kind of test it out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying it, then we'll uh, we'll keep going. Uh, what's that? The, the TV. The top cabinet, the cabinet. Where the TV's oh, gonna be. oh yeah. Oh yeah, probably. Okay. Side. Yeah. We'll have to make a note of that. If you want to text me that, I'll uh, I'll add that to the list. I don't want to swing out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's valid. I'm sure that's uh, accurate. Yeah, seem, oh, actually the gas gauge is showing a little bit right now, so well, that's a good, a yeah, so, and it may, you know, it may take a little while, like, to, I'm sure they kind of have to break in a little bit, so. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's not bad. That wasn't full throttle. So, yeah, and it, it didn't like want to pull or anything. I mean, that was that was nice and easy. So, I do have to. I think the uh, speedometers, the GPS signal, isn't plugged in right now because it's not showing how fast we're going. And it says GPS error. So, um, I noticed that on one of the other coaches today. It just wasn't plugged in when we pulled the thing out. We just forgot to plug in the sensor. So. Um, but tachometer showing good, oil pressure showing good, uh, voltage is showing good, vacuum showing good. Actually, it's about a half a tank on fuel. Um, temperature looks good. The the turn signals may not turn off automatically unless you. Uh, I'm not sure. It's maybe they just have to break in a little bit. But I've noticed they stuck on like twice now, so I'm guessing that. You know they probably will kick off eventually, but you may have to every once in a while notice that it, it was on. Um, but yeah, I mean all the temperatures look real good. Um, yeah, the dash turned out really nice. Hmm, good. Yeah. I can turn the AC on. It's just the AC compressor is not gonna do anything right now. And I think it was on, so now it should be going on, coming out the vents here in a few seconds. Uh, maybe not. I may have to. Alright. Um, the, what was that? Oh, the overhead ones? Yeah. Um, th I don't, I don't know if we've run the generator yet. We may have to try it. Uh, we'll probably start it up when we get back. Let's see, but yeah, you'd have to have the generator on to run the overhead ones. So, I'm going to turn this back off. So, we got to switch the wires on the defrost and the uh, dash, the temperature. They, they're they the same exact plug, 
So they let you plug it in either one, and even though you have a 50% chance of getting it right, we always get it wrong. So it's just like a USB port, you know. You, no matter what, you have to get it wrong first. So I set the cruise control. I'm gonna see if it uh, seems to. I'm gonna try to accelerate with it. I think it has to be over like a certain speed to set too, so. Good. Yeah, this, this feels fantastic. If they all drove like this, I'd be, I'd be real happy. I'm just hoping I can make mine all drive like this. The one I have that I drive right now drives fairly well, but this is, this is slightly nicer. too sharp so I don't uh, knock the uh, thing off. The refrigerator do alright? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to figure out how to mount that, like get it bracketed in since it's not really an RV refrigerator. So I'm sure we can do it. At least Josh probably can. If anyone can do it, right? <laughs> well, I guess we made the right decision. Which decision is that? Oh. <laughs> Not the fastest decision, but hopefully the right one. I don't think it needs an alignment. I think it's fine. So. I'm trying to decide if I should go straight here. Or, uh, I might turn. I don't know if this guy behind me is going to turn. Go straight? Yeah. Yeah, somebody's going to cut in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they'll decide. Oh, GPS yeah. said turn right. <laughs> they dropped their cell phone. Yeah. And we're looking for it. Yeah. yeah. We may need to point the camera down a little bit further. You can see, like, it almost looks like that car's inside of us. <laughs> but. Yeah. True. So it might be good to leave it there. And then that way you're looking right over the top of it. Yeah. That, that, that's a good point. I was just thinking it might be easier to hook up the tow dolly, but I guess the tow dolly you can probably just pick it up and move it. Now we're gonna unhook it. Oh, yeah, good, good point. That's. Why would we unhook? Yeah, true. You're just gonna pull the car on and off of it, so you're right. Yeah. Yeah, that's valid. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, no, that sounds normal. We'll we'll have to get the thing level and then stick like a receiver out of it and see where it comes and you know. And then we'll know if you need to drop or raise or whatever you have to do. Because we'll assume that you'll try to tow with it at highway, uh, you know, at a little bit low in the rear, and then uh, you'll be able to raise it up a little bit. It shouldn't affect too much. Yeah, it's showing a little above half right now on the fuel tank. So I would say the fuel gauge is working properly. Sorry, I should have given you a warning. I'm. <laughs> well, the turn signal turned off itself that time, so it at least sometimes does it. Yeah. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I'm gonna try it this time going to the left. We'll see what happens. I turned it on. Turn in here. Nope, turned off. Yeah, that was good. Hey, you may just have to turn far enough for it to catch with the little cam, so that could be it.